More than that, we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope does not disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, which has been given to us. Romans 5, 3-5 Through Christ, all of us have gained access to the glory of God. Adam's sin condemned all men to hell and subjected the world to decay. But our Savior, through the cross, has brought us justification from sin. He has won for us eternal life. We can boast in our afflictions, as St. Paul says, because we are boasting in the power of Jesus Christ to overcome even our worst transgressions. Above and beyond that, we can boast of the power Christ gives us to endure, which builds our godly character, which produces the hope that does not disappoint. Because of Christ's victory, our lives are a journey of ever-increasing blessings as we walk from faith to faith. As St. Paul reminds us, For if while we were enemies we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more now that we are reconciled shall we be saved by his life. Romans 5 verse 10 Our struggle allows us to become strong men of faith who can stand firm in our trials and lead other men along the road to salvation. There is purpose in every test life throws at us. There is ever-renewing power that leads us and our brothers forward into the kingdom. Praise God for his grace, which has saved us and strengthens us to endure until the end. Do you see your trials as stepping stones of grace and growth? If so, how? If not, what makes this difficult? What are some struggles that have helped to shape you into a better Catholic man? How can you help a brother face his trials and find the grace to endure? Count it all joy, my brethren, when you meet various trials, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness, and let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. James 1, 2-4